how have the central bankers, this is my last slide because my 12 minutes is just up, have reacted to the truth coming out? They admit that they've been telling porkies, and now they propose to increase their power. So central bankers belatedly admit, oh, oh, now that you've mentioned it, uh, yes, banks create the money supply. Um, so uh, let's abolish that now. <laughs> um, and also, by the way, let's abolish cash. So what should we do? Well, introduce digital cyber currency that central banks issue and control and thereby gain total control over all economic transactions, decisions, and the whole lot you've just heard from the CEO of the GDI. So the greatest concentration of central banking power in history is really the bid they're aiming at. That's the central bank's goal. And, of course, digital accounts of um, dissenters and regime critics could be switched off. It would be very difficult to even purchase necessities. So this is an Orwellian dystopia of total control, the end of any freedoms. That's um, really what central banks are aiming at. Several central banks have, like the Bank of England, already prepared their microchip implant, RFID chip, to be implanted under your skin. Um, and why is the sudden discussion about universal basic income from all the grassroots and inverted commas movements and billionaires? Oh, universal basic income is the bribe for you to accept the microchip. Microchip implant, RFID chip, to be implanted under your skin. Um, and why is the sudden discussion about universal basic income from all the grassroots and inverted commas movements and billionaires? Oh, universal basic income is the bribe for you to accept the microchip at their microchip implant RFID chip to be implanted under your skin. Um, and why is the sudden discussion about universal basic income from all the grassroots and inverted commas movements and billionaires? Oh, universal basic income is the bribe for you to accept the microchip. The overarching... I mean, they're not even hiding it anymore, all right? All praise, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Merkah, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing this word in truth, sincerity, and indeed. Your brother Kapatazar from the great millstone Chicago branch coming at you with a very, very quick lesson. It's everything is out in the open. The entire planet Earth is without excuse. All right, as it is written in Second Ezra's. Matter of fact, I'm going to get it because it's there. It's right there. The men of the Lord endowed with the Holy Spirit have been prophesying about this event to take place for decades. And it's here. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And what are the words of the prophecy? The MOTB. Like my man just said. What have they been pushing them, uh, uh, doting about lately? Universal basic income. You're going to receive a monthly stipend by the government just because, you know, to, quote unquote, help you out. Because, it's you know, it's hard out here for a pimp, <laughs> you know. But what's the bribe? What's the catch 22 with this universal basic income, this, this monthly payment? The MOTB. All right. And they're putting it right in front of your face. These are the words of prophecy that the many Habashim Yahshai have been speaking. It's here. All right. And most didn't believe. Most scoffed at it. People still scoff into this day. Hell, there's people that are going to see this play out. They're going to know what it is, where they heard it from. They're going to know that the Bible told them not to take it, but they're still going to take it. Why? Because they didn't believe. Second Ezra 15 Starting at one again, behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, right? Because it is faithful and it's obviously true. All right? 2,000 years later, right? Verse 3, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And what is incredulity? Unfaithfulness, the disbelief. So just because, you know, I'll, I'll just speak on my own personal brief experience in this walk, just because, you know, we was out there with the signs, you know, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, you know, I bear witness to men 
and, and like minded men like myself standing out there with those signs, with that with that uh, RFID implant telling them that the Bible was speaking about this and people laughed. People talk shit. All right. To this day, you have so-called Israelite camps that do not acknowledge this, that tell you lies. They tell you uh, uh, the MOTB is something totally different. All right. They tell you that it's it has to do with doctrine. They tell you all manner of heresy other than the truth. Even some Israelite camps like IUIC, like ISUPK. All right. For example. OK, why? Because that's the incredulity. They got paid off. All right. And a lot of them, hell, they just don't have the download. They don't believe that it is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is clearly making it out to be. All right. It says, verse four, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. See that? All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Why? Because they're going to give in to this. Let's run it back one more time. Uh, microchip implant, RFID chip, to be implanted under your skin. Um, and why is the sudden discussion about universal basic income from all the grassroots and inverted commas movements and billionaires? Oh, universal basic income is the bribe for you to accept the microchip. The there it is. And these are some wackos. These are some... Uh, What's it called? Um, this isn't some like leftist uh, media propaganda. OK, this isn't some shady ass website. You see a bunch of devils in suits and ties with name tags in a forum. Speaking about these things, man. All right. I'm not sure if that's in the upper right hand it says University of, of Southampton. OK, so I guess uh, maybe this is where they're uh, holding this meeting or this seminar. OK. It says a monetary institute on the, on the upper right hand side. So, I mean, these aren't just some wackos with aluminum foil on their heads, man. All right. These aren't just some conspiracy nut jobs talking about this, man. These are guys that have inside information that know what's going on. OK, but guess what? <laughs> We are also those guys with the inf inside information, all right, that knows what's going on. Why? Because we have the understanding of these prophecies, man. We understand the book, okay? And this is what this devil, it, it, this is what he's planning to do. He's putting it out in the open now. Revelation 13, 16, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. He just said it, man. All right. This is what the elites plan to do. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you won't just be able to buy and sell like he said previously. Any detesters or rebels, they're going to cut your implant off and you will be alienated in society. This is what the elites plan to do. They want full and total control of the monetary system. This is why they set up blockchain technology. It tracks every transaction that happens, man, over the Internet of Things. There is no uh, uh, evading taxes. There is no getting paid cash. There is no under the table jobs real soon, man. Everything will be coordinated in with the B system, man. All right. The, the, hey, man, a lot of shit <laughs> is going to get ready to be done away with. And the elites are moving fast because they know they have but a short time, man. These are just the facts. It's out there in the open. Let everybody else that doesn't believe, hey, man, may they die to death, okay? May how about Shemi Shai keep his prophets? The Lord said we were going to eat, all right? Because the many of how about Shemi Shai are going to take that stand of faith, all right? What that song say? We come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, <laughs> trusting in his holy word. <laughs> All right. Gospel hit different when you're in the truth, man. All right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power. Behold, my servants shall eat. 
but ye shall be hungry. All right. All those that scoffed, all those incredulous individuals. All right. Those faithless infidels, man, they're going to be hungry. All right. What the Lord say, behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Right. We're going to be hey, we're going to be put up. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Such is the lot of all the unbelievers and scoffers that talk shit. Such is the lot of everybody that didn't take heed to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh via his holy prophets, man. They have a great confounding coming their way. All right. And the men of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh are going to rejoice in all these said perils. So with that, hope this was edifying. All praises, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah Kodash, Shalom, Ababa Ball. All right? Ain't Shalom to the other Yahshua, but two through an info. Subscribe if you haven't already. Wow.